Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And hello again. Okay, so we're going to do a short one today, which um, doesn't actually involve me uh, turning on the lab. One of the things that I've noticed very recently um, with the acquisition of VMware by Broadcom uh, is the huge number of requests um, people asking where can I download VMware Workstation Pro uh, people seem to be having huge amounts of difficulty navigating the Broadcom website which isn't really a surprise it's um, I don't find it very user-friendly so in this short video I'm going to show you what you need to do where you need to go how you need to register to download VMware Workstation Pro, which since um, May 13th, 2024, um, as you can see from this particular video, um, is now completely free for personal use. If you're still using VMware Workstation commercially, you still need to purchase a license for commercial use. If, however, it's for personal use, educational use, you can use it and download it completely free. So that's one of the big changes that um, Broadcom has made, that VMware Workstation Pro is now free. It used to be a, um, a purchase. So I will leave this uh, link, um, and I'll put that down below in the description. Um, and today I'm actually using uh, DuckDuckGo. A um, friend of mine's been using it for years, and he's been trying to twist my arm uh, to get me to use it. So this is a um, a little bit different for me. I normally use Firefox and Chrome, and I've been um, devotees to those products for a long, long time. So today I thought, okay, let's actually be able to use uh, DuckDuckPro. Um, I'm also getting used to some new cans, uh, which are a little bit easier. Uh, than the Sennheisers that uh, I've been using. Um, so these are Barodynamics. Uh, okay, so uh, what I'm going to do in this article, there is a lovely link which says VMware Workstation Pro Download, so I'm going to click that. Um, that actually takes me to the Broadcom website. Now, um, if you remember back, if you've been using VMware vSphere Hypervisor ESXi, the free version, um, you will know that when you downloaded the free version all those years ago, you would have to register. So exactly the, the same thing. Uh, you've got to register for the, the free version of VMware Workstation Pro. Um, so I don't have, I do have a username, but I'm going to sh go show you how exactly that we're going to um, register a new username. So I'm going to click register. Um, I'm going to use um, simply log on um, as an alias. Um, this may or may not work. I don't know. They might get a bit funny. Uh, so it's actually asking us to enter the, I hate these things, um, R-E-K-A, next. Um, so email address. Um, I think it probably supports Hotmail and all, all the usual ones. So it's asking me to enter the code. I'm just going to cheat here. Um, oh, one of the things I've got to do um, is one of the things with simply log on is I generally turn them off. Uh, otherwise, I'll just be spammed. So I might possibly have to ask that to come again. Resent. Let's just see whether or not that uh, it's in the inbox. It's not. So I'm just going to click resend. See if I get that email. Oh, he could be sat here waiting all day. Um, it's not appeared yet. Um, like, Broadcom didn't say that it didn't like a simply.logon.com address. It didn't sort of kind of say that, um, uh, you know, some organizations now are getting a little bit funny about simplylogon.com and Hotmail. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So I've got a customer support at broadcom.com, 
with a verification code. So I'm just going to type seven, four, nine, seven, six, two. And there won't be any point emailing me at this address if you if you copy and paste this, because I'm just going to turn this off afterwards or delete it. Um, OK, so I'm going to enter uh, my first name, Andrew Hancock, uh, country. find um united kingdom uh i don't know job other password um so i'm just going to uh, this is obviously being saved to duck duck go uh, so i'll just basically do that there i accept create account i'll just paste that in over there as well uh yes uh no i don't want to build a profile um so we're now i thought maybe that we were logged into the portal but it doesn't look like it is because we've got register and login so i'm just going to click login again and hopefully this time we've got a user id i must admit i'm not really a fan of the broadcom site um password i was hoping yeah okay so the password looking to see whether or not that we've logged in okay so okay so the fact that we've actually got a name up here which basically says andrew hancock uh we are currently logged in so it is a bit confusing um the broadcom support website i think like even if you actually basically what to me i think is obvious put in vmware workstation pro and hitch search um all that actually does is search the knowledge base for vmware workstation pro issues so what you want to do um you want to head over to um what's called my downloads and this will actually show you a list of downloads that you can download. And you're looking for VMware Workstation Pro. So if you click on VMware Workstation Pro, and it will show you the VMware Workstation Pro available for us to download. Now, the two that you want, really want to concentrate on um, for personal use is VMware Workstation Pro 17 for personal use, brackets Windows, VMware Workstation Pro 17 for personal use, brackets Linux. So if you click the greater than sign, and then all the versions are here, so then just click 17.6. You should find over here that it's telling me screening is required. So if I click agree. Okay, so it's now wanted me to do additional verification. It's now gonna want me to put my address in. Um, okay, so we'll put um, York, York. York State York postcode Y O one one A A. I agree. Um, and if you remember back to the VMware portal, uh, it did ask you the same thing to register an address when you created the account. So it's not really any different. And hopefully we've passed screening. So now I can hit the download button and I can say keep and it's going to download that. So we'll just go back and we'll do exactly the same thing. We shouldn't have to do screening again. Um, I'll just go back. I'm going to download the Linux version. Um, so again. Just waiting for the Broadcom sun to wake up. Well, let's go back again to the Linux listing. 
Okay, same again. 17.6. And you you will find um, on the Broadcom site that if you're not actually entitled to download something, it will tell you when you hover over the little cloud download button and click, it'll say not entitled. So if I actually basically go off with this account, um, we'll just do that. So that's just downloading that. So just to demonstrate, if I actually go back, if I go back to uh, have a little look at downloading VMware vCenter server, which is in the list, uh, we could download VMware vCenter converter now. Um, again, you have to create an account to download this. Um, so I want the standard version. There is only the standard version, 6.6. .6. We've obviously done the screening, so that shouldn't cause us a problem this time. Uh, I agree to the terms and conditions and download. So I can download that. I'll just say keep so I can download converter. Um, but let's try something that I know that I'm not entitled to with this account because at the moment I've not created a site ID and this account that we've just freshly created won't have any um, information in it that allows me to be entitled to download VMware vSphere. Um, so on the next page, if we have a little look at VMware vSphere and I try to download um, VMware vCenter server, uh, which is now a, a licensed product. So let's just say Enterprise Plus version 8. Although I can actually see the versions that are available to download and I can expand them. Um, if I try to download the current version of ESXi that was released um, last week on the 17th, um, 8.03B. Um, so there it is there. And here I've got, even if I click that button, not entitled, I, I can't download it. So there you go. That's all I was going to cover in this very short 12 minutes. But I've got a freebie here for you. Um, probably not going to like me really publishing this link. Um, but anyway, um, this is another link to download VMware Workstation 17.6 build 242380078.exe.tar. So you need to download this and untar it on Windows. But this is the version um, that is fetched um, from the CDS repository at VMware. So it's still hosted on the VMware. So this isn't some cookie unknown website. This is from the software update.vmware.com. And this is the website that um, VMware Workstation goes out to to pull the updates down. So it's completely legitimate. So if you don't really want to go through all that, creating an account, downloading, um, then I'll put this link in the description as well, where you can fetch VMware Workstation 17.6 directly from vmware.com. Um, Good to say no more. Um, as I said, of late, there seems to be lots of requests. Where do I download VMware Workstation? Because people are getting lost on the uh, on the Broadcom site. And um, people seem to be getting um, frustrated. And um, people sort of kind of seem to be suggesting, oh, don't use VMware Workstation. Go off and use Oracle VirtualBox or Hyper-V, uh, Client Hyper-V, uh, or whatever. Anyway, so I hope that... Um, you can take away some golden nuggets from this video. Uh, uh, so come back next time. And um, we're going to be looking at um, VDT. And we're going to be looking at the latest uh, bug release for VMware vCenter Server 8, um, which has not been pulled yet, but it's been released with a bug. Anyway, so once again, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.